2022 has been a beneficial month for the Indian drone industry due to the increasing faith of the government in drone technology. Before diving into top 20 drone news for the month of February, we would like to thank you all for your support and kind cooperation. Hi everyone, my name is Sasha and you're watching Drone News Express. The union government is significantly strengthening the drone industry by liberalizing the drone rules in 2021 and announcing drone Shakti in the budget 2022. The government aims to facilitate and promote drones as a service through startups. According to the Drone Amendment Rule 2022 published by MOCA, the conversion of DAN to UIN extended until 31st March 2022. Moreover, the remote pilot license is abolished and the remote pilot certificate issued by the training school shall be sufficient for drone operations. PM Modi witnessed the flight of 100 Kisan drones by Garuda Aerospace and said that the technology initially used in army operation has now spread to several walks of life, the latest being agriculture. Reliance Industries has put together an aggressive plan to build its drone business, which includes manufacturing, experimenting and logistic payloads to delivering goods. The government has banned the import of foreign manufactured drones, except for those required for defense, security and R&D purposes to promote local manufacturing under the Make in India scheme. Tech Eagle delivered medicines in minus 5 degrees Celsius with heavy wind in the district of Kulu, Himachal Pradesh. It covered 15 kilometers in less than 9 minutes with its Made in India hybrid EV Toll drone. Zeroda and True Beacon co founder Nikhil Kamath, along with Abhijit Pai, has invested in omnipresent robot tech through their investment arm Gruhas Protect. The discussions on the sale of 30 Predator armed drones by the US to India, the first non-NATO ally, at an estimated cost of USD $3 billion is at an advanced stage. Sky Air Mobility, a company specializing in drone deliveries, has partnered with Dunzo to carry out trials and eventually roll out a drone delivery service in Karnataka. As per official reports, Jammu and Kashmir police recovered a huge quantity of weapons dropped by a drone along the international borders in the RS Pura sector. Idea Forge, a leading drone manufacturer, has announced a partnership with Savix technology to distribute its best-in-class UAVs in the Indian market. New Space Research and Technologies has raised $21 million in a round led by Pavestone Technology Fund. The startup aims to become a unicorn within the next five years. Sky Air Mobility has initiated a three-day long BV Lowe's trial in the Chamba district of Himachal Pradesh to connect six primary health centers and the area hospitals via multiple flights between points covering an aerial distance of 170 kilometers. In a bid to ensure that the COVID-19 vaccine reaches the armed forces, the Indian Army is using drones to supply the booster dose in snowbound areas in Jammu and Kashmir. With the ever-increasing usage of drones for various applications, the Tamil Nadu government has identified two unused airstrips to set up a drone hub. DRDO assigned the young scientists to develop a new class of drones that will be able to carry loads at high altitude regions along the Himalayan frontier. With an aim to execute successful drone deliveries for groceries and essentials in several major cities for six months, Swiggy has invited proposals from bidders for drones as a service. Researchers at IIT Naya Raipur have partnered with the Indira Gandhi Agricultural University in Raipur to develop a drone-based crop health forecasting solution that uses AI to identify insects and crop disease. With the help of drone, two Indian army teams and mountaineering experts successfully attempted a complex rescue operation of a young trekker at a steep hillside crevice. DGP of JNK Police 
confirmed that for the first time a chemical in liquid form was also sent with the consignment via Pakistani drone attack in Jammu and Kashmir. So friend, with this we come to an end to this month's Drones News Express. To get more updates, follow our Drone Helpline Facebook and LinkedIn page. The link is provided in the description box below. You can also provide us with your views, ideas and feedback. Thank you for watching. Do like our video and do not forget to share and subscribe to our Drone Healthline YouTube channel.